Today I'm going to review these electric socks from Kimimoto. Now I know it says Duhan on the packaging. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know if that's a translation. If we take a look at their Amazon page, you can see these socks are washable and they're kind of designed for hunting, cold weather, cycling, skiing, ice fishing, and of course, motorcycling. And that's what we're going to talk about. But you could also wear these if you're just out walking around the neighborhood in cold weather. Now, if you wait until the end of the video, I'm going to give you a special coupon code where you can save 20% on these electric socks. But let's take a look at what comes in this pretty nice package. You get two of these rechargeable batteries. These are 2600 milliamp and they slip down inside little pockets on the socks. They are rechargeable. You also get this small remote control so that you can adjust the heat settings on the socks. A USB charging cable is included in the kit and what's nice about it is it has kind of a pigtail for two USB-C charging so you can charge both batteries simultaneously and they do use USB-C which is nice. The socks themselves come in two sizes, small and large. These are the large and that's what I'm going to be testing and you can see they're pretty stretchy material. They're actually pretty comfortable and they feel like good quality socks. Here's that little pocket I was telling you about that the battery will slip down into and then you plug it in uh, so that it reaches down into that heating element. Now here you can see I'm charging one of the batteries uh, using my computer port for USB. I plug in the second battery and there is a small flashing green LED to let you know that these batteries are charging and when all four of those LEDs are lit up, you know the battery is fully charged. I did find the USB-C connectors to be a little bit finicky. You kind of had to wiggle them to get them to make a good connection. The batteries are rated at 2600 milliamps and they fit easily into the pockets of the socks. You use this small miniature plug to simply plug them in. Now it's important to note that even though the socks are washable, the batteries are not waterproof. So you have to remove the batteries before you wash the socks. On the top edge of the battery, you can see the USB-C connector for recharging, the mini plug, here it's plugged in, and the power switch. To power up the battery pack, you have to press the power button and hold it for two to three seconds until you see the green LEDs illuminate. And that shows you your power level. Those green power LEDs do go out after a few seconds, which is a little confusing because you may think you've lost power. The small remote control communicates wirelessly with these battery packs to set the heat level. And it only flashes once to let you know what heat level is. Green is low, blue is medium, and red is hot, or the hottest setting. The remote control is very small and could easily get lost, so you want to make sure to put it on a keychain or maybe even put some Velcro on the back if you're going to use it on your motorcycle, and uh, you know, maybe put it to your brake reservoir or somewhere where you can find it easily. Each press of the remote button cycles through the different heat settings and there's a corresponding LED on the battery pack to show you the current heat setting. Okay, we're gonna try putting on one of these uh, socks. I've already got my left sock on, so let's try putting on them. Now I'm gonna do it with the battery installed first. I guess you could install the battery after you put them on. <clears throat> They're a little tight. Of course, this is the first time I've put them on. Let's see. Now I'm putting these on uh, in such a way that the battery, they've got a lot of material down here on the end. So it takes some getting used to. They, they, feel, they feel a little bit like they have some and it may be part of the heating element, I'm not sure, down here on the end and the foot, so it feels a little strange, but that may just be something that's normal with heated socks. I, like I said, I have the battery on the outside of the sock. Now, I do not have these turned on right now. So, 
Let's see how they feel, first of all, with my boots on. So let me put on one of my boots here. They, they're not too uncomfortable, actually. They, they fit good. I wear a size, about a size 10 and a half or 11 shoe. And the large actually seem to fit pretty good. Foot goes into the boot just fine. I don't see that being an issue. Um, and the socks uh, are long enough to, so they come up above the boot on my boot. Now, I don't have real high boots. Uh, mine come up maybe a third of the way on the calf. They don't even come up to my calf. If you had really tall boots, they may come up to here, like if you had racing boots or something like that. One of the things that, you know, is obvious is right now I've got these turned off. When to heat the socks, I'm going to have to pull my pants leg up over the boot and I'm going to have to reach down in here and get to that battery. Somewhere there's a little button. And to verify that they're on, you really need to take it out. You really have to take it out and turn it on. And then you can see the little LEDs light up. You probably can't see that from where you are on the camera, but I can see the four LEDs lit up here, meaning it's fully charged. And then I can slip it back down into that pocket. And then I would use that little remote to turn on the heat. They seem to be fairly comfortable. I haven't walked in them yet, and obviously I haven't ridden with them yet, but I'm gonna do that next. After testing these socks out on a couple of cold weather rides, I determined that they do actually work as advertised. I could not tell a huge difference between the hottest setting and the low setting. Even on the hottest setting, they were not uncomfortably hot. So they do keep your feet warm, but I notice in their Amazon ad, they kind of show an image that implies they heat all the way up the calf and the bottom of the foot. And I really only could notice the heat down toward the toes, kind of on the ball of the foot, which is the most important part because that's your extremities. But I didn't notice any heat coming up the calf at all. I was able to get the battery pack to charge fully in about three hours. And they had about four and a half to five hours of battery life when used on the highest setting. I want to mention that Kimimoto did not pay for this video, but they did send me a couple pairs of these socks to test and review. If you're interested in these socks, you can use a coupon code on the screen to save 20% up until January 1st, 2021. I'll also put the Amazon link in the description of this video with the coupon code. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.